everyone so do you know what's in your makeup what's in your cosmetics I know I didn't I don't look at that stuff when I'm buying my makeup I just like buy what works for me plus I don't know what a lot of those things even mean you know and I assume it's all safe because why would it be out there for sale if it wasn't well it turns out there's actually several ingredients that are found in makeup in skincare in hair care that are unsafe and all the info out there all the research is really hard to get through because some places say that these things are okay and some say that they aren't some say that different chemicals and different things found in makeup are unhealthy some say those are okay and different ones aren't I'm doing my research there are many different ingredients that came up over and over again as being harmful um, in different studies done by different people and different companies so I'm going to talk about those today. For me, the main ingredient to avoid are parabens, which you may have heard of before because a lot of things now are labeled as paraben free. These can cause allergic reactions and skin rashes. They can increase skin aging. And the scariest thing to me is that they have been known to mimic estrogen and have been found in breast cancer tumors. There's no like definitive link between parabens and breast cancer, but there's a very strong correlation. So from now on, I'm going paraben free. I know a lot of stuff I have right now has parabens in it, which is really scary. I'm gonna tell you some of the things that I have and I use that you've seen that have parabens. I've decided if I'm just gonna throw away everything I have with parabens, because that's a lot of stuff, um, probably what I'm going to do is just finish up the things I have and when I go to repurchase, not repurchase those things but instead make a better choice. Another scary ingredient, propylene glycol. It's found in antifreeze and in car de-icing things. That's the ingredient found in makeup that's used to, to de-ice cars. It can cause skin irritation, inflammation, rashes, and breathing problems. The next ingredient is found mostly in hair care like shampoo and conditioner. It's sodium lauryl sulfate. You've probably seen like sulfate-free shampoos or people talking about that. From what I've heard, it's used to like cause shampoos to lather and stuff, um, but it can cause skin damage, permanent eye damage, and liver toxicity. So now going forward, I will be purchasing sulfate-free shampoos because that's some scary stuff. Another dangerous ingredient found in makeup are phthalates, which can lead to damaged kidneys and lungs and reproductive problems. Not fun stuff. Mineral oil or petroleum had a bunch of different negative effects that were kind of different depending on where I looked, but they can cause lung damage and clog your pores, all kinds of different things. Another dangerous ingredient is fragrance, when it's just listed as fragrance because that can be a number of dangerous chemicals. They don't have to, you know, disclose that. They just say fragrance. So there's no way to tell and that that in itself is scary. Now I totally want you all to go and do your own research on these things. Decide if you want to give up certain ingredients as well or not. I just want you to decide that for yourself. I'm going to link all the things that I found this information on down below. There's also a tool called the Skin Deep database where you can look up different makeup and see, you know, what's in it. If some makeup you use is not in the database, you can run a report yourself and copy paste the ingredients from Sephora's website or whatever on to Skin Deep's website and search yourself and it'll tell you which ingredients are bad and it gives you a number from zero to nine. Zero to two are like are pretty good that's green and then three to either five or six are like yellow or orange like you know there's some chemicals on there like proceed with caution I guess and then either six or seven to nine are red or things that you should probably not use because they have a lot of dangerous stuff in them. I don't really know how that whole system worked because some things had a bunch of parabens in them but were just a five and some things didn't seem to have a lot of harmful ingredients on them but scored an eight. I'm going to show you five things that I have and I use that you may have seen on my videos that score really high or have a bunch of parabens or just general really kind of bad things. I'm so sad to tell you this but my favorite mascara that I use in almost every video that I use almost every day scored an 8. It has three parabens. It lists fragrance as an ingredient which like I said you don't know what that is. Luckily this tube is almost used up but I was due to repurchase mascara anyway. Now I'm gonna have to do some research and figure out one that's paraben free. As for MAC Cosmetics, their ingredients were very hard to find. So I just had to go off of what some people said were on different websites. And there are a few beauty girls who actually take pictures of the boxes, take pictures of the ingredients. Some of these MAC products, I'm not really sure how accurate they are. But all that being said, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish scored an 8 on the Skin Deep database. So I don't know if that's all mineralized skin finishes or just certain ones or what the deal is. But this is one of my favorite products. And that makes me really sad. From what I have found, they have four parabens, as well as some other harmful ingredients. So that makes me sad. I won't be buying any more MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This MAC powder, it's like sheer press powder that I used for years until they discontinued my shade. It scored a 7 and has three parabens. NARS was another brand where it was very hard to find the ingredients in their products. So from what I could find, this eyeshadow duo scored a 7, has parabens, other harmful ingredients. This was one of the first things I looked up. And it was probably the most shocking to me. Yup, 
This is on my worst offenders list. This has five parabens in it. Five of them. I use this every day. So I'm gonna have to look for a new eye primer now that's paraben free because that's really scary. Now I don't have anything that scored a zero. I have a few things that scored a one, a few that scored a two. So those are still okay, but some of them still had some scary ingredients, but just like I guess one or two and everything else was good. Now Tarte Cosmetics, it didn't really surprise me that some of their things were really good because they're supposed to be a natural brand but some of their things didn't score so well. However, on their website and on Sephora, it was really easy to find all the ingredients for their makeup, so that's really great if you're looking into what's in your makeup and you wanna make sure you're buying things that are free of certain ingredients. But luckily, my favorite new Tarte BB Tinted Treatment scored a one. It had a couple ingredients that were like not so great, but everything else was good and it was just really nice that this was a product that I could find out what was in so easily. Makeup Forever, their things didn't seem to be too bad either. Um, this lip pencil didn't list any ingredients that were very concerning, so it's a one, which is great because I love their lip pencils. Tarte Skinny Smolderized Eye Pencil, this one was good. I think I had like one ingredient that was questionable, but all the other ones were good. And the regular Smolderized, the thicker ones, those were two, so I don't know what they have in them that's different, but maybe like one or two more ingredients that were questionable. Of course, all these things on my good list, they're all paraben free. Revlon Color Burst Lipsticks. I, these are super old. I should probably get some new ones, but there were just four that were listed in the database and they were all a one or two. So they didn't appear to have any parabens or anything really harmful. Body Shop was another brand that was very easy to find the ingredients on their website but they claim to be all natural and some of their skincare does have parabens, but their BB cream, which isn't my favorite just because of the color, it is paraben free. It was a two on the Skin Deep database, so that's nice. And I also really like that I could find all of those ingredients very easily. So do you care what's in your makeup? Are you gonna start looking now or have you been looking already? If you are paraben free or use some paraben free stuff that you really like, please let me comments so I can know, you know, what to buy now that I'm buying some different stuff. Are you gonna start looking into some of these chemicals and things that I mentioned? Are you gonna start doing some research? I really hope so. Also, I'd love to know if you were surprised about some of these things that had parabens or were really bad or some of the things that were really good. I would just love to know your reaction to this. Everyone have a good day. Have a happy Earth Day. Hope you're all doing so well. Thank you for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.